people. Both focused Australian drug and therapeutic development business Probiomics has relisted on the Australian Stock Exchange following its reverse merger with private drug developer Hunter Immunology. The company has an estimated market cap of $33 million with around 150 million shares. Joining me to uh, walk us through this newly structured group is of course CEO David Radford. And uh, David, a very good afternoon to you. I just want to get uh, a really clear idea of how the company is now positioned. Uh, so let's start with business strategy, which the, the mer merged group is calling risk balanced. What do you mean by this? We're, uh, we're a company that's at a very interesting stage, uh, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, we're going through and completing now a phase 2B study for our lead uh, drug product, HI164, which is uh, targeted at one of the biggest health, uh, health issues facing major economies, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. We're expecting those results uh, later in the June time frame, so uh, that's going to be a very exciting time for us. In parallel with that, we've also got some uh, interesting work that is looking at this technology in, uh, in the use for non-responsive asthma treatment and also ot otitis media or glue ear in children. So that's the, uh, that's the Hunter portfolio. The probiomics uh, business also brings with it a probiotic which is already on the market and selling in the US. So what we've looked at doing is building a portfolio approach which will uh, enable us to drive some revenue through existing products with a big opportunity for commercialization of the HI-164 upon successful outcome of the trial. Uh, which obviously is, uh, is the big news that we're hoping for in the June time frame, and then future research products. Uh, so we're looking at uh, spreading the risk over a period of both short and long term. All right, so the nitty gritty then in terms of financials for the current uh, fiscal year and next, what's the merge group for forecasting in terms of revenue, profit and shareholder return? We're still very much a, uh, an R&D based business. Our revenues primarily at this stage are from the probiomics business, which is a, uh, a growing business. Revenues there are approximately a million dollars. Uh, the big opportunity, as I say, comes from the commercialization of the HI-164. So in terms of the, uh, the opportunity there, we are expecting the results and are certainly on track for results uh, at the primary level in the June time frame. We're also seeing significant engagement from potential pharmaceutical partners uh, with a view to uh, a partnership, uh, trade sale or acquisition should the results meet their expectations. Typically those, uh, those deals would take 6 to 12 months to consummate. So uh, this year the primary revenue will come from probiomics. Uh, again, pending successful results in the drug trial, uh, we would hope that uh, within the 6 to 12 month period there would be a significant commercialization event for the HI-164. Okay, so if successful in the commercialization does push forward, how is the company positioned in terms of capital? Are you able to fund this project and all of the others you're looking at or is there a need for some form of capital raising? At this stage we've, uh, we've just completed a capital raising which will take us through very nicely to the end of the trial. Uh, we also have some more money coming from the uh, R&D tax rebate. So effectively we have enough money at this stage to take us through and well beyond the, uh, well beyond the results that we expect in June. And just finally, uh, are you pleased with the lineup of, of the new board, the merge group? Are you confident? The, the board we've built is uh, a tremendous board for the commercialization event and that has really been the focus. So uh, I'm delighted to be working alongside people with the experience they bring. Uh, I think it's one of the best boards that I've ever worked with and uh, if there is a group in Australian biotech that can commercialize technology, uh, this is the board to do it. All right, and probiomics uh, share price sitting on the ASX at 22 cents a piece. So there we have it today, probiomics CEO David Bradford. Thank you so much. I wish you every Thank success. You. Thank you.